Now, forests that have experienced high incidences of destruction are set to receive a security boost with the government's plan to boost uh, to de deploy rather 2,700 forest rangers. The rangers will be deployed to critical ecosystems that have been marked as having recorded incidences of illegal activities. Now, according to Chief Conservator of Forest Alex Lemarcoco, plans are already in place to deploy the rangers to priority water towers of Mao Forest Complex, Mount Algon, Cherengani, Mount Kenya, among other cross forest areas. He said the situation of inadequate personnel has been experienced across the 200 forest stations in the country where most rangers, where most have four rangers providing security. <laughs> The main reason why we are having this, we are bringing these uh, young men and women on board is uh, for us to have a uh, full control of uh, forest management processes. And forest management is not just about logging. It's about uh, raising seedlings in the tree nursery. It's about uh, uh, man managing the process of a tree growth, uh, right from the growth uh, as from a sapling uh, level uh, to a tree that reaches its biological rotation age, which is normally between 25 to 30 years. And that process requires uh, us to have a constant surveillance, constant control of uh, entries and exits. These are the people who are going to lead in even delivering the call to the 15 billion tree planting by 2032 because they will protect what we have they will protect what we will put in place. Because if you are not careful, sir, it could be like a bucket that has holes where you plant and a lot of it goes out. Now, government and non-governmental organizations have come up with an ambitious project